This is gonna be a bad game, I can feel it. Is this spat only? Oh wait, they gave you technicians already. Holy shit. Oh, the anniversary. Wait, is there a bundle for the chromos? Uh, for what? Oh, there is. This is gonna be a long one. I already know, so I have myself a snack and some leftover cookies that I got. I Wait. need to add to join so I can ask him questions. Do you want me to grab him? I know what server he's in. No, it's fine. If he joins later, then he joins. I was gonna ask him tomorrow because that has to do with my homework. So, send it in over to Admiral. I mean, he's just right there. Let me see if he's streaming. Well, hello, everyone. Yeah, they're not no, it's fine. It's too. fine. I'll ask him tomorrow. Okay. Uh, no ad reads. No ad reads. No ad reads. No. Dude, I can't believe I got Spear of Blossom Ari. It's the only Ari skin I actually really like. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm done with this. I, I switched to it. My phone fucking committed to Kuku as I opened Discord. It was so sad. That's a shit. Short and sweet of it, Shane, Shane, and Shayna, all messy, terrible people. That's the footnote for of it. But the show's entire premise is that they take six couples, each of which has one person that's issuing an ultimatum. <clears throat> they marry me at the end of the show, and we're breaking up. Throughout the show, though, there's an Oi. experiment where they, like, couple swap. They, um, take a person here. It sounds like mine. Everybody does like Talk a sound, but I can't pinpoint it. Trial I'm thinking of Donkey Kong. They spin when he does a roll oh. in Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> he hits a roll, he'd be going. It's <laughs> pretty great. Oh, I, I have to poop again later. I just pooped. I just pooped. I told Liz this too. I just pooped. Nice. Why do I need to poop again? I've never seen. Something so that, such a bad idea. She, the so game's telling me to run. Chaos, and I love. Why, where are you going? It's no! Telling me to run the rats. No, no. my. Because <laughs> there ain't no way in hell if I feel like I have um, to drag you on to Netflix for millions. There you go, Poppy. You can be a queen. To try to force somebody to marry me. It's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Oh my god. And then, but it's so nice to see you. What? My bed. I'm talking about my bed. Oh. I haven't seen my bed in so long. <laughs> no, I don't understand how you do that, man. Yeah, I don't either. I'm inhuman. Bro, why is it so hard to find a wattage of a fucking... Uh, uh, of a, a washing machine. God, God, God damn it. Isn't it dependent on each washing machine? Yeah. I literally put in the specific model number and it, it's giving me nothing. Nothing. Alright, I go and put you back. You don't hear my fucking snoring. Okay. <laughs> for real, for real. She be, <laughs> she be hitting that. Fuck you don't. It be hell loud. Shut the fuck up. You sound like god dang. Shut the fuck up. You don't. You don't know. I do, unfortunately. You don't know. I wish I could have a lot of them think of a bitch. I wish I could have both open at the same time. Dude, I wish I could have I wish I could stream multiple streams at the same time. Damn. I don't want really to do that. Yeah. Don't worry. I got this. Fascinating to watch as an objective party how none of these people should be getting married. 
<laughs> and another thing, maybe in relation to the, to the everyone being young and in a rush, and also people being very insecure, they're also all horrible communicators. Painful to watch at some point. Again, childish, insecure, jealous, because of course you are. You put yourself in a situation where your partner is going to be with someone else for three weeks. You didn't think that was going to yeah. be some jealousy. I don't know. Basically, they attract people who are great. <laughs> Again, no sense of self-preservation, no embarrassment. And so no embarrassment. Are you not embarrassed? No embarrassment. Yeah, do you know where that meme is from? It's from a YouTuber. No. <laughs> I'm not cultured. Yeah, it, it, it's literally just a girl saying, Are you not embarrassed? That's embarrassing. Ew, what, 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 what is your brother doing? Same pendeja to someone. No, he's going like, Ew, Ew. He's got a little thing to it. <laughs> Please no, I need that ash. <laughs> Wait, what are you going? I'm gonna go my usual. No, I'm going that. No, you stop that. No, I'm going that. Look, I already had two ashes. Look! Stop! <laughs> She's my girl. <laughs> no, that's my ash. No, she likes me more. Do you think Ash don't, doesn't like women more? I don't know. <laughs> That's why it scares me. Yeah, let's be afraid. I fear. I'm gonna put my plate away. And when we first see her, she seems nice, albeit a bit kind of picky -ish. I know how to, I know how to cook. I know how to clean. And it's like stop trying to prove yourself to men. The, I get used to her more. She's just very quiet and reserved and chill. From the jump. Hey. What you doing? Why you pull my ass? You know what? This is bore. Over time, we begin to realize that the reason she doesn't open up is because Zay is very argumentative and she just doesn't want to start arguments all the time. Also, we'll find out that Zay had a very traumatized childhood and that shows in how he interacts with Jokes on you, I already have three syndicates. Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? No, stop! Stop! Do you see that vine where the lady's like hitting the bus door and she's going, Woo! I don't think I have. Okay, never mind. I'm just screaming for no reason then. All good. She's almost like comically, stereotypically superficial and money focused. She is in many ways like. Dude, I went over to my friend's house and she. She has a dog, right? Uh huh. Her dog hates men. Like, she'll bark at the nice. men, but then be petted by the women. Wow, I got a <laughs> The dog is fucking sexist. It's awesome. You know what? Good for, good for the dog. Oh, so yeah. Maisie is so cute. Love her. Madeline and Colby. Oh, bitch. If anyone can talk about a, like, a couple in the show, it's gonna be Madeline and Colby. I don't even know where to start. They are both cool. Not great. <laughs> They're both incredibly toxic. Really Why did I get a spat? <laughs> Excuse me, game? That's pretty funny. What the fuck? On this show, What the fuck? That's fucked up. I have my eyes on somebody and my boyfriend holding a soap. That's real funny. No, it's not! Hey, I love funny. And then Colby, on the opposite side, he's actually... Joke's on you, I have a level 2 Ash! Stop! 
jokes on you. I already have a Zyra. What the fuck? And you haven't more gone? Stop! Stop! <laughs> Get off my comp! Wait, someone else is going! Someone else is going the same thing! No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, Fatility Ninja! No! What if you need to stop? No, you need to stop. No. You stop. I think I lose this. Yeah, I lose this. I'll fall back. I'll go to my- I'll go to my rats. I don't think I won't. Uh, go your rats. Go your rats. Go. I dare you. Why are they all watching me? Uh, stop. Ah. I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah, they're just bad. Like, we, breaking up is an option. We don't have to do it. <laughs> Next up is April and Jake. Um, also annoying, but in a different way. April, I, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the youngest people on the show, and it shows. She, her immaturity is just how She seems like genuine, big-hearted person, but also incredibly petty and reactive. She's yeah. also very much so in a rush. Largely because she does have infertility issues and she's afraid that she doesn't have time. She had infertility, infertility issues. Now, I didn't know that. Right now, and she's only like, yep. That's why she wants kids I so bad. Baby, I I see, I see. I and Jake is probably the most reluctant to come on the show. She issues I don't have any strong positive or negative feelings about Jake. I feel like he's just a guy in this awkward circumstance that he's been put in. I think some people really dislike him because he's going to get off of somebody. Um, but I'm like, well, that's the point of the show. You shouldn't have brought him to the show if you didn't want to hit it off with somebody else. You know what I mean? I'm not going to blame him for hitting it off with somebody else. Shanique and Randall, who are apparently attractive. Uh, Shanique is in a similar way. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how, like, attractive they are compared to everyone else. Like, why do they just look so much better than everyone else? Crazy. Get off my comp! Crazy. No! Do I stink? Go, you, go your stupid rats. You already have a level 3 poppy. And? Go, your stupid rats. <coughs> Watch, I'm gonna get a Braum before you. Oh! If you do, I'm do it. With my rats. Do what? I don't think I won't. Do it! Do it! Do it! I don't think I won't. Do it then. You I'll think I'm it. afraid? A little bit. <laughs> okay. As far as Randall, he just really fine. That's the only thing I got. Um, he seems nice, chill, he's not in a rush to get married for financial reasons, and also just because, you know, Shanique isn't the easiest person to be around sometimes, if you look at the show, even. And then finally we have Lauren and Nate, um, not much to say about, well, I'm not dying much to say though, about so that's not very fun. Really chill. Nate actually issues all three of them. you're on my comp. And I will say, I knew I would No. Nate hopes I uh, kind of suck at this game. You don't believe in the syndicates. So, the first episode, we are introduced to all the couples, but beyond that, it's also... Whoa, 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 look what it is. ...speed dating week in which... Whoa, whoa, whoa. ...get to know each other yeah, and decide did it. who they're... Now I have two... I have two tacticians to ground. Oh, of I need a spot. very idea, this. All of the original partners are, like, in the same, like, general vicinity as these and they're jealous. And I was just like, this is the I love it. There are certain people that kind of knew from the jump who they were going for, particularly Madeline, who is so messy. From the jump, she's like, hey, hey, look at this. Ooh, two tacticians. I need this for my comp. <laughs> look at my board. I don't want to look at it anymore. Okay. Ooh. Hey, a character. She, she is toxic as well. But she knows her strengths, all right? But basically, her and Randall end up connecting because they're just complaining about their respective partners. Because just watching that scene at first, I thought it was very Stop. Weird. Stop. Was he like being overwhelmed? Uh, stop. Like, You're on my board. Could mean you have a gin. 
cold. Have a gin. <laughs> you hate oh. him so much. Just break up. Oh my god. But no, they start to like kind of commiserate. He's like, oh uh, gosh, Nick is a pain in my ass. So you basically can already tell they're going to be together. The next Get off. Is pretty undeniable. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Woo! Stop. I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I never liked it. <laughs> Ah. SpongeBob. Ah. SpongeBob, get off my goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just need three more ashes to get Ash three. SpongeBob. Can you sell your ash so I can get more ashes? Uh. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Yep. Look, y'all have level three things. Fine, I'm going rats. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. You no. know, you won't die as much now. No. And then the rest of the people seem to be just kind of floundering, if that makes sense. Either one person is more interested and the other person isn't, or two people are interested in the same person. One of the more chaotic situations in which that was happening is Alexis and Colby. So Alexis is into Colby. Colby is not into Alexis. Colby is into Lauren. The thing is, Lauren doesn't want kids. Colby does. He's another person who wants kids. He wants the family. He wants the, you know, picket fans and whatever. And I think this is when I started to, again, notice more of those things about Colby that I find red flags. He ends up being quite popular on the show. Like, a lot of the girls were like, I would be a fake American. I would be a little He's so attractive. He's so attractive. He seems like somebody that really is wanting marriage, you know? And I think that would be good to to work with someone like that to experience. But he wants specifically the person who is not obtainable. The person who doesn't uh, want what he wants. Every other woman on the show wants. <laughs> okay. Goes to the girl who doesn't want kids and kind of does this thing where he's like, I hope I can convince you basically to have kids. You know, to go down that road and take it the way, like, like, you know, and what the like fuck? Now the game gives you more guns. <laughs> she still doesn't want to have kids. Why not? Uh, go I'll with take it. Any no. The other women here I'll that want to Fine, have kids. It. To want someone who wants what he wants is not. Oh, thanks. I found it. Oh, level two. Thanks. The the act of wants to work someone. Thanks. Getting trolled. Nah. Oh. You just have one brother out. Come on. Getting trolled. Can you spend knife for a mover in the middle? So, no. So nice. I don't know what's about to happen, but nah, I don't like Colby. But again, he's trying I bet to people are like, why the fuck does she have eight units at level six? I mean, I'm sure they see the tacticians. <laughs> Stop. I'm not sure if people are like, why the fuck does she have two tacticians? <laughs> this guy's a Jace already? She eventually ends up sharing with him. At what level? Seven. It's not oh, unrealistic. Shit, but yeah, one percent chance. I've gotten that before. Shit, but that bad. I would like to find. Oh, nice. I need two more ashes. <laughs> she doesn't take this well. Which again. Don't join a show if you don't want your L's to be public. Oh my god. How can you even decide for real, that already? For real. Like, we barely even spend any time to together. How do you know that you don't want to try anything? I think it's very rude for you to just basically say, already, you know. And it's like, babe, just take the L. Because sometimes you just gotta take the L. The L, it hurts. I was afraid of being embarrassed on TV when I made Oh, holy shit. These guys. Yo, this guy's sent a scary. What the fuck? Episode 2 starts with Alexis not taking her elbow. The no who on me, boy. Everyone's gonna see it now. That is your doing. You gotta think things through before you. Where you start, but uh, but she's like pushing. She's like, why do you know it's not? And I'm like, babe, there's other. Just pick one. He answers in this very like salesman way. Like, Bless you. Um, no. Kind of just Bless you. 
Thank you. Now it stinks. <laughs> and it hurts, babe. I know. Embarrassing. I would not have brought. Ooh, send me a TikTok. <laughs> I would not have come on this show to be a mom. Joe Biden. Yeah, but now that you're here, Joe now Biden. She, her ego is wounded, and she's like, "That's very." I rude found a Zary in my shop. Too bad I'm not and running I'm like, snipers. There's no way to say that. I don't like. Yeah. Cause, Cause someone it. took my comp. <laughs> Get this fatality weenie out of here. What you said, John. What you said. And she starts to really badger him about that. Like, well, I think you're an asshole for saying I'm not attractive. What did you want him to say? He told you before it's not going to work, and you didn't take that as an answer. So now he's telling you what it is. For real, for real. Oh, fuck, I'm dying. Instead of taking it well, she goes Stop straight up to Matt, his original partner, and was like, I think Colby is a yeah. terrible person, so whatever reservations you have, you should listen right, to it. Alright, need that tear. <laughs> oh, it's good! It's so I get the tear. So, there's a lot more drama in there. Yeah. Colby starts going to the bathroom around how much he's with Madeline and how he doesn't want to be here. Everybody else is still like... <laughs> I wish I'd be. As we get closer and closer to pairing off into these new couples, I couldn't help but ask, like, what are the limits here? Are there any? Because... It's hard to know what is expected of these new couples. Is it literally just supposed to be you living with someone for three weeks? Is that alone supposed to be the test? Are you expected to not be intimate with this person physically? Or are you expected to be physical with them? Are you fully broken up with your original partner? Are you supposed to treat this as if you're single? Occasionally talk as if, well, I'm single now, so I can do whatever. And it's like, or are you only single in the context of the show? Oh, fuck, I oh, forgot my friend. My friend wants to wake me up at 7 to buy Dreamcatcher tickets. On the show. That's a <laughs> Damn. I don't know. And again, these Are you guys even going? He wants to go. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here like, how broken up and are I said, you? What okay. is tearing off you need? They have a dinner with Blue Shade. Oh. That's when you know some Holy fuck, I'm almost dead. This is where they find Stop telling the comp! I'm also doing homework! You're doing your goddamn homework! <laughs> My hands are cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my black cheese! Madeline chooses Randall. Again, no surprises there. They choose each other. They're a couple now. April is between Nate and Hunter, and she chooses Hunter. I haven't talked much about Hunter, but he Excuse was me. like consoling April at one point when she was crying about who knows what. Everybody was crying, no one else was on the show. And she really liked that calming energy, so she was going towards Hunter. And this is now the second person that has not chosen Nate. He is the one that issued the ultimatum. Now the two people he thought he would end up Bro, with. Bro, I need one more ass. Stop. Now he's just kind of there. Alexis stands up and she's like, I don't want to be with anybody other than my original partner, Hunter. You I didn't even put on the right the items. What do you mean? It's the right item. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm it's totally Jin It's Jin Su's IE and then uh, the other bullshit, Last Whisperer. Well, on too Ash. late. Because she fucks. I'm here to fucking take you out. No! Why did you to do the that? garbage. No! Oh, what it up? No! Nice talent. Gone. Nice Morgana. Bam! Oh, she tanked that. <laughs> so Nate's there. Haven't Should have taken my comp. And he looks at Madeline. Now you die by the rats. Fucking dead. Now you die by the rats. How could you? Oh, what it all? And Madeline's like, what? Why would you pick me? Colby chooses Lauren, and I just again that that like I don't want to use the word narcissism. <sighs> I'll just say that. I'm not trying to diagnose him or anything, but he does. A, he has a lot of narcissistic tendencies. I'll say that he. Love bombs out of Lauren, and it felt really heavy and really not deserved. At one point, he literally says, "I know it might be kind of weird to say I love you," and it's like, 
What? He's like, I'm just so lucky to know her. And I'm like, you haven't gotten to know her. We've been here for a week. Like, this dude is so ew. Because to me, he's so it felt ew. like he was love bombing her to make her fall for him, for his own ego. And also to rub it all in that little face that he there's another shitty dude at the table, Nate, who suddenly doesn't want to do the experiment anymore. He just wants to leave with Lauren. I don't feel comfortable with Lauren and Colby leaving for three weeks. I'm gonna propose her right now. I'm about to go. Again, 10 minutes before this, he was like, I'm gonna pick Madeline. But because he didn't get picked by the two people he thought he was gonna get picked by, and his girlfriend is about to get picked by Colby, I didn't bring her on this show for her to get with some other guy and me get rejected yep. by two people I wanted. And I'm just taking all the L's. Let me get engaged and go. And so he goes up to her and proposes. Again, the whole thing between them is that she doesn't want to have kids. He's like, I don't even want kids now. And it's like, what? 10 minutes? It's been 10 minutes? <laughs> but yeah, he just Ten proposed minutes. to her because he That's felt good. unwanted by the other people here. This, of course, starts an uproar because it, again, doesn't feel like the other proposal that happened at the same order where it was just like, I want to be with you. I don't want to be with anybody else. And they got engaged. This one was very like, nobody else chose me, so let's get engaged. <laughs> and people call him out on it. Colby calls him out on it, but Colby's a bitch. And he's Shut super dramatic back. too. He's like, I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to get married. Very presumptuous. Again, she was dating him for like two years before that. April kind of brings one up the issue. Corgi, one more corgi, one more corgi. She starts crying and whatever. And she's like, y'all are not taking this seriously. You just feel rejected. You're not here to do what the point is, which is to have a learning experience figure out what you really want. April and Colby end up pairing off together kind of as leftovers, but they wanted to still do the experiment because it was for the betterment of their relationships because they both believe they're going to leave their respective partners and they want to get the most out of the experiment as they can. Nate is real awkward and defensive and it's just chaos. It's just so chaotic. But at the end of it, we now have our new couples all put together again lauren and nate yeah fuck you fatality now. taking my goddamn comp too bunch of bunch of punks around here i tell you what so our four remaining couples the new couple you punk what the fuck So for the trial marriage, they all move into the same apartment complex and they each live together in an apartment with their new couple for three weeks. And things seem to be going well for everybody in the beginning, you know, they're getting used to the living arrangement. Some of them haven't even lived together before with their partner. So that whole experience, there's a lot of like awkwardness around should we be sharing. Then of all the couples that have paired off, I just feel like So episode four is the first week of dating. Ray and Jake bond about- Frag out. That's my boy. Let's go Ziggies. Ooh, this is like a ah, bro. Ooh. you just don't want people in business that's i mean that's how i think about it like why do you want to turn on your business they also share a kiss and again because we don't know what is communication it's like should they feel guilty about that There's as far as the edit goes they are the first new couple to, to cross into that level of physicality but again this is to so this episode though is largely devoted to man tasted purple tell this as well tasted purple oh fuck my voice cracked <laughs> oh there's no shame in voice crack <laughs> well when you were going through puberty did your voice crack when uh like your voice was changing not like a not like a shit ton ah uh. Jake meets Ray's father, and it's just interesting to see the dynamic. They're asking questions about the experience. 
they're asking questions about the new partner. The most like dense meeting was they meeting Jean's family. Because again, he had a really hard upbringing and he doesn't really have a family structure. He kind of opens up about how. Why is this Alistar tanking everything? Please they stop it. He's a person that's been through a lot of shit who doesn't really know how to navigate that. And it's bleeding. Oh. No, my win streak. Please! Cool! <laughs> no, my nine win streak! Stopped by a fucking cow! You can't milk those! Can't milk them. Romantic relationships are very intimate, they're very <coughs> raw and vulnerable by nature, so like he wants to get on himself a bit before he can dive into something like that, you know what I mean? So later in the episode, the producers of the show, who are also devil incarnates, thought it was a great idea to have a boys' night out and a girls' night out. Obviously coached them to have the messiest conversations possible at these meetings. We want you to talk about the partners you're with, talk about if you've gotten physical at all, talk about if y'all been cuddling, talk about if y'all been kissing, and do it right in front of their original partners. Ray talked about how she kissed Jake. You know, April gets real passive aggressive about that. Cause she's like, oh yes. well he kissed you on the mouth, but he ate my pussy before we got here. <laughs> Madeline is a bit much. And I also, hey, I also think I, so I finished sure, my but, like, homework. She, Let's talks go. about how great Randall is, almost Whoa. in a sort of like sadistic way. She's like trying. It feels like she's trying to hurt Shani. She's like, he's just so cool. He has kissed me. He has kissed me. And I think we had a bono while we were talking. Oh fuck, I forgot to put it in uh, PDF mode. And also like on the emotional, like, here's why you guys have problems in your relationship. You don't listen. It's oh. oh. <laughs> Night, Zay and Cole Ooh, started, 12 minutes before well, Zay it was due. Kind of Let's go. Cool. Cool. Everyone's professor is just like, why the fuck did she turn it in 10 minutes before it was due? Uh, Someone call me my fucking NARS, man. To, like, no, I just don't have- Colby Oh, yes he fucking is, that little cocksucker. Colby willfully, like, enthusiastically made out with this girl. And he kind of tried to push blame on her off to Zay as if he made me make out with the girl. He was like, I didn't make you make out with anybody and why are you lying on me as if I did? I can't make you make out with anybody. From what I understand, the, the point is you don't mess with people outside of the show. You mess with people within the show because that's the point of the experiment. But outside of that, that's just you cheat. So episode five is also messy. Shocker, we should know now. And it's uh, taking place towards the end of the night of the boys and girls like nights out and each person kind of comes back and relays the things that they heard and the messages that they heard during their respective nights out which is great communication jake really starts to exert how much he likes ray um and i gotta say between the two of them he's the only one that well okay so not be uh when i ordered when i ordered protein powder right yeah they they sent it so i was supposed to buy a 30 serving which is like a really big tub but then i get my package and it's two two tubs of 15 servings and i'm like what the fuck i wasn't aware of this and like what if this is, isn't the same amount that i bought so i emailed them saying like oh yeah why is my order like this yeah and then and then the fucking customer support was like, um, what was it? We were out of it. Uh, we have to check the details, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, yeah, all the stuff doesn't like really add up when I check your website. And then they reply back saying like, uh, all, all this like math shit. I don't fucking know. And then they say, please always go by what's on the label. Labels are adjusted and printed for each individual batch. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But I didn't get the email about the change, and I feel like I should get some sort of compensation. Yeah. Because, you know, you guys gave me the product that I didn't exactly want. Yeah, you paid for something else that 
Yeah, yeah. And then I, and then I said false advertising, and and I guess they got a little offended. <laughs> bitch said, bitch said, uh, sending the same amount of product purchase in a different packaging is not false advertising, Brianna. And I'm like, okay, that sounded super passive aggressive. <laughs> Holy shit! Why yeah. did you have to say my name like that? Like, hey, for real, hit you with the name drop. <laughs> I know, I know. And then they were like, um. Uh, oh yeah, I received permission to arrange a gift card for 10% of your purchase. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't just say that. Yeah. For the first time around, but okay. And this is the most... I was like, damn, this is being wow, passive really aggressive. <laughs> that's what he says. He's like, what? You brought me on this show Taking and all to the me. Rabbit and now you're mad that I'm rabbit with rabbit another person? Like, oh, why are you surprised that... And again, I'm sitting here like, are you surprised that something physical would happen? You put them in a situation specifically for them to act like they're not with you anymore. So yes, they may make out with this new person. They may do anything with this new person. If you didn't got your relationship, why'd you bring them on here? What did you expect me to do to be miserable Like, yes, I expected you to be upset the whole time and miserable and miss me the whole time. And he's like, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard, which it is. She's like, upset that he's not upset. She's just so childish. Like, okay, fine. He's making out with her, so basically she's hey, they gave me the winch. that he's not miserable without her. So she goes nice. back to Zay, and she's like, "Wow, he's really." It's been done. I've done it. I've done it. I've got it to diamond with rats. You're welcome.